Apparently, there is a complete communications breakdown in D.C. right now. <coughs> and it began because the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, said this before a scheduled meeting about infrastructure with you-know-who. Take a look. <laughs> Would you believe that it's important for the, the, to follow the facts? Uh, we believe that no one is above the law, including the President of the United States, and we believe that the President of the United States is engaged in a cover-up. Now, the guy in the White House was watching and made it through three minutes of that meeting before he stormed out of the meeting into the Rose Garden for a press conference, just <laughs> happened to put together really fast. Watch. And I walked into the room, and I told Senator Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, I want to do infrastructure. I want to do it more than you want to do it. I'd be really good at that. That's what I do. But you know what? You can't do it under these circumstances. So get these phony investigations over with. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, he's like a mime. He is like a mime. He says he's not going to sell myself. talk to Democrats <laughs> until they stop these investigations. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think what, for, for me, what was so infuriating is that that was one of his huge campaign promises in 2016 was infrastructure spending. And anyone that drives anywhere in this country knows that we really need better bridges and, and, and highways. Um, and he pledged, I think, $1.5 trillion in infrastructure spending. And the fact that the president of the United States is saying that he will not meet his constitutional duties to be the president, his Article II duties, yeah. unless Congress doesn't meet its constitutional duties. Duties of investigation, it's Article One duties, is preposterous. He's actually act asking Congress not to uphold the Constitution and saying that he won't uphold the Constitution if they uphold the Constitution. I mean, that in and of itself is an impeachable offense. <coughs> that in and of itself, what he's requesting. It's kind so of there you have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could we see what's going to be Sorry? What did Nancy say that he was doing a cover up? She, she, she yeah. feels he's doing it. Because then he said, I don't do cover ups. Yes, he did. I wish my stand up act was as funny as that line. <laughs> because, I mean, let me count the ways his high school grades, his taxes, mm. his financial records, mm -hmm. his conversations are with the Putin. Oh, are his, these the things he's covering, he's covering up? up? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. His hush we're, money we're payments we're are all cover ups. Okay. Yeah. Think of Stormy Daniels. He paid Michael, Michael well, Cohen, paid the money. We're going to yeah. talk about that too. Yeah. But what, anybody else? The migrants. Um, the migrants. Are the, are the, the kids. Uh, yeah. yeah, the separation his of families. Whole, his whole that was a one big cover up. I think it's a really sad day for America. Yep. And I think that the days of Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill are so long gone. I don't understand why Nancy Pelosi was talking about engaging in a cover up just moments before a meeting. I don't understand why he even took a meeting if he was saying, I can't even engage in this bill unless the investigations stop. Um, it's <coughs> the worst kind of party posturing on all sides. And when I was watching it, I was like, Joe Biden's message of working with the other side is looking really good to me right now in a lot of different ways. So I think that America can be so much better than this. And I understand the inclination to find humor in it. I understand because there's a level of absurdity to it. But I just feel depressed more than anything that this is where we're at. And by the way, we have a D plus, according to the 2017 infrastructure report card, 32 percent of urban roads, 14 percent of rural roads are in poor condition. We've seen what happens when people get injured, when you know bridges fall. It's horrific so we're talking about like people's lives at stake so maybe a little less humor and a little more work on at everyone would be where's nice. the humor where's the humor they're not funny no i think that there's this level of humor involved in like oh you know we just he's he's an idiot he's, well, he's getting ridiculous. nothing done i don't i yeah. he is ridiculous i just can't find the humor in well, it right I'm, now I, I don't find it funny i'm actually outraged i'm outraged that the president of the united states is telling americans that he is not going to do his job. Well, but this, is, this should not come as a surprise. Does it's no, it's not. This is yeah. not a surprise. But, but I mean, we've been. Can I say something like that? Yeah. Like, you met with the other side mm -hmm. on Capitol Hill mm -hmm. when you were working with, with AIDS mm -hmm. activism. Mm -hmm. And you would meet with anyone because your goal was more important yeah. than politics. Yeah. Why is the spirit of what you used to do with Ted Kennedy and uh, yep. many different politicians, why is that gone now, Whoopi? I'll, I'll tell you. I think because people forgot that our message and the message of many people who go in front of Congress is not 
for our own edification is for the betterment of the nation. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you lose sight of why you're there, you're there to make the country run better. You're there to make sure that American citizens who bust their behinds every day just to get a, a paycheck out, to get their kids to school, who are trying to have a good life, they are looking to you to help, for you to help. So if I can go and I sit and I sit with Teddy and I sit up with all these folks and say, listen, we got to do something. We got a homeless problem that affects everyone. Because if one of us is homeless, chances are in a couple of weeks, we could all be homeless. Mm -hmm. So let's try to head this off. But there is no big thinking. Yeah. There's no wide thinking here. And it's, and it's the reason I have to keep a, a humorous head is because it allows me to look forward and see what we can do better. Because if I go in here, yeah. I will never come out. Right. I would just, well, yeah. it's, this is enough to drive one's soul into their into the ground. I, I don't really th appreciate this false equivalency because <clears throat> let's not forget that Mitch McConnell famously said, let's remind everybody when Obama got into office, his main objective was to obstruct Obama. Okay? Yeah. Well, number so this this business of Nancy Pelosi is just as bad as he is is a bunch of baloney, in my opinion. I'm not, I'm not, I think everyone's at fault. I mean, it's not, no, I not everyone's one... at fault. Look at the original mover here. But what I'm, Mitch what I, McConnell. But I think as yeah. long as you demonize all Republicans, like, even the spirit of what you just said mm -hmm. makes mm -hmm. me not want to have a conversation They are with all you. behind But I'm just him. saying, we have to put this crap aside, mm -hmm. all of us here at The View as well, and, and politicians in D.C., at a certain point, we have to work together for America. And I, for one, am sick of party politics and what's happened in the past, and there is blame everywhere all around. You could even make the argument that it started with Newt Gingrich. I understand. It started but with we're Newt in, Gingrich. But we are in the oh, presence yes. right now. Yeah. We are in the yeah, presence right yeah. now. Well, let's move and on to Harriet, because this sort yeah. of also falls into the thing. I'm just not interested in rehashing thing. the past. I'm interested yeah. in moving forward. I got you. Well, here's, yeah, the, here's the infrastructure. So, about let's Harriet about Tubman. It. Oh. Yeah. She's this still is, alive? She's, she's, well, she was <laughs> until know. they knocked her off again. Yeah. So the Treasury Secretary, so little Stevie Mnuchin, <laughs> said he's going to postpone the Obama-era initiative to put abolitionist Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill by the year 2020. He's pushing it to 28. 2028. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he says it's over concerns about, you know, counterfeiting and security issues. But I'm sorry, every time you hold up a bill, you see the security strip, you yeah. see the watermark. So I don't think that's the reason, Steve. No. I no. think you're not being. I don't think the American upfront. public believes him either for whatever no. it's worth. Well, wasn't no. this one of the things that this, Obama wanted to do? This again? is one of the things Americans wanted yes, to have yes. done. They voted this, overwhelmingly. People voted for can, it. Can we not this, make this you know, a political on either side? Because like you said, this was something that was overwhelmingly yeah. supported on both yes. sides. Yeah. She's an American icon. Who was, yes. like, this know, is not a Republican the, problem. This is no. Trump and Mnuchin. Yeah, yeah. this is them in particular. This is in particular. And I thought what was fascinating is he did try to blame this uh, on this issue of, of counterfeit bills. Mm -hmm. We've had counterfeiting <laughs> since the beginning of time when we started having bills. Um, but this year, each new $20 bill was only going to cost 11.5 cents to produce, 11 cents. And the budget, the operating budget for the printing was $690.8 million. But so there's plenty of money to do this. So any American that is hearing time. this and hearing Mnuchin's message, I think, should flood the Treasury and the White House with messages but I, asking for I this to be done. So is many this is scary, but it's, it's, this is a put what's right and what's wrong aside. Mm -hmm. The politics of this should be an easy layup for this administration. She's with a money. woman that's beloved in history, the obviously with the underground, yeah. yes, and the Underground Railroad, uh, right. one, one of the was huge the, conductors. The, um, but I think that the 19th person. Amendment. if we can't he come together on a woman train. like this, yeah. and I think that for him and for the administration, as you said, which is, is, is halting this for reasons I don't understand, it would be a way to unite the country and celebrate something good. So I don't understand why for that reason alone, well, we can't put it aside. Do you think it could yeah. be a dog whistle to his base? Yeah. I, I don't understand I it. Think I think so. It's, I don't know. I think so. I, I, just I don't ask know. It. I don't know. I think so. But, but if it isn't, then I, I would like to hear from Republicans on this. I would like to hear from his do? base. Yeah. You know? But I would like to hear She's not talking. She's talking to the Republican I am a Republican. Leadership. I'm a Republican. I would like to hear Hard from rap. Republican we'll leadership. We'll be right yeah. back with on. more 